Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Following my career, Farquhar Freights, a subsidiary of SD Logistics. You join us in Felix, still where we finished off after the last live stream. We got a few jobs done there, earned a little bit of cash. And today we need to head out and try and earn a little bit more because we want to buy some more trucks. We want to hire some more drivers. I have eyed us a job pulling something quite interesting something different something that we haven't done for a while and it's heading into my hometown so let's go for that we are going to do felix uh yeah felix stone to norwich <laughs> let's get going so we're off to go pick ourselves up some agricultural equipment and i believe we're picking it up from the lumber yard i had a little drive around felix stone in between, you know, getting all the roads covered as I try to do. And I did notice there was a lumber yard. I was hoping we'd get to pull some lumber or some logs. And before we took our rest and slept through the night, there was a, a job for some wood panels. But that only had like four minutes left on it for delivery to, uh, you know, go pick up. So that was never going to be sitting there for us in the morning. And a new one hadn't arrived. But. There was some tagry equipment. Now there were also a couple of jobs heading into Norwich, so we were spoiled for choice, but this was the better paying of them. So we'll just check that it's still here. Here we are. Because I think it only had about 40 minutes left on it to, uh, to collect. So. Hopefully we can uh, get our job. There we are. So there was one. There was a Volvo excavator going into Sheffield, which is thirteen grand. But we're going to take the uh, we're going to take the tractor just because we, it goes to Norwich. So let's just see what we've got trailer wise. Can we have a yellow one, or we might take the black one. We'll take the black one. There we go. Take the jobby. So let's go and find it, shall we? I think we need to go this way. It's parked over there, so hopefully we can get around the side. Side and then connect. I think we can. Plenty of room. Plenty of room for a skillful driver such as myself. Watch me uh, hit that concrete there. Right. Now, since we're coming into the warmer months in the UK, I have reduced the chance of rain uh, by 10%. But as you can see, we still get rain. Hopefully it won't last long. Oop, rolling away now. There we are. It's got a bit of weight to it. We haven't pulled a tractor in a while, I don't think. Not over here in Europe, anyway. We've done we've done tractors and combines over in the US on ATS. Again, for SD Logistics. If you're interested in a chilled and relaxed VTC, SD Logistics could be the VTC for you. Uh, details should be down in the description. If not, I'll add them in. Not search SD Logistics in Trucks Book and you will find us. Ooh. That's why we need to get rid of some of this rain. We are we are slippery when wet. No, let me out, good sir. You are. Thank you, kind. Much appreciated. Try to go a bit wide there, make sure we get around. Lovely. 
once we get out of town and on some sort of main A road or better yet, yeah, motorway, we'll uh, have a look. Oh man, God. We'll have a little look at our our deets in uh, everything. I hope you're all well. Uh, we're having a pre-recorded this weekend, obviously. We have uh, a little family do on Saturday. And on Sunday when I've been streaming, um, the partner has a long day at work today. So there'll be no streaming and we're out on Saturday so there's no chance of getting anything there. So I'm not quite sure what will have what will have come out this weekend content wise, but I should imagine Starfield and this and that'll be it. Next week, uh, the hard mode snow weather will be back. They'll be back on Tuesday. And I think the week after that, the live stream snow weather will be coming to YouTube because I've been having nothing but trouble over on Twitch's end. And it is Twitch's end because I put double the bitrate through to YouTube and we have absolutely no issues with the connection or the bitrate. We never lose stream, it looks good. But of late, over on Twitch, we just the bitrate just drops. We, we lose it, and it's disconnected the stream a couple of times. We've had long times of trying to reconnect, and it just just ruins the flow, and it's frustrating. I wish it didn't happen, because in all honesty, I'd like to do all my streaming on Twitch, and then just upload to YouTube, because the streams do hinder the vods over here. But since I don't have a lot of time for the video on demand content at the moment, we go on streaming more. But it is what it is. It's just one of those things. Um, I have put out uh, a post on YouTube to remind people who are um, Twitch subscribers not to renew their subs unless they really want to. Um, so I don't want to take people's money to think they don't want to we take money for stuff that I'm not doing or where I'm not going to be and I know a lot of the guys sort of sub just to get rid of the adverts anyway so if we're not there you don't need to do it and um, I've also put it in Discord so people should know and I saved it for the end of the month because sort of generally that's when they roll through and we'll just see, we'll just see how we do with um, a bit more mixed streaming content here on the red brand it may go well it may not those that generally join me on Twitch will probably join me. It's just I think we won't get the uh, the nice randoms that turn up sometimes, like a new a new viewer and stuff that you find out on Twitch. Whereas on, over here on on YouTube, you, do, you don't get that so much unless it's it's massive game or it's a popular game, it's brand new or you know you're super promoting yourself and you've or you've got a big enough audience that people are in your stream. So. YouTube see that's popular and then obviously push it to get more people in there. Let's just try and uh, come over, shall we? So yeah, we'll see how it goes. You never know, it may it may do really well. And for the streams as well, I'm gonna be trying to use um, Streamlabs OBS over OBS, so I normally do everything on YouTube with OBS and everything on Twitch with Streamlabs. Uh, but I, I have my uh, my <laughs> my touch portal set up, and it's nice and easy set up on um, slobs rather than having to go to the hassle of adding the plugin and things for OBS, which is weird because slobs is just OBS with a skin on it and a few extra features. So hopefully that's that's not going to hinder the, uh, the streams over here. You never know, we might find out that the problem has been slobs all along and I should be just streaming OBS. But then I'd have to spend the time trying to get plugins to work and other things. And, you know, it's, it's not difficult. Children, children can do it. But, you know me. I'm a bit of a grumpy, lazy old man. <laughs> Don't like having to go to too much hassle. <laughs> Yeah, 
this rain is not going to go, is it? Shame, shame, shame. But it's only uh, 6.43, so there is a there is a chance of getting a break. Not a big chance, but there is a chance. Um, they aren't going to be happy behind me, but I'm not going to be going uh, speed limit, because we do have issues in the wet. But I did say we would have a little look. So, we're currently at 255,000, so it's not enough for a new truck just yet. Uh, we're pulling the crawler track, which is 13 tons. Norwich, uh, Pines and Holtz is where we're going, which I think is pretty much where Ratcliffe is supposed to be in real life in Norwich. Um, it's an hour, and, only an hour and 20 minutes away, 50 miles, and it's uh, 5,135 pounds sterling. We have got five hours to do it in, and we will need all of that. I topped up with fuel in Phoenix still while I was driving around and unlocking the roads because that is a big part of what we're trying to do with this Conquering Britain series. It's all about ooh, ch shit place to stop. Um, yeah, it's all about trying to unlock the garages, drive down all the roads, get everything up and running, visit every town. You know, it's, it's, we're a long way off getting it all done. That's why the streams have been nice. During the streams, we get to do like four, sometimes five jobs in that two, two and a half hours. And uh, you sort of find that you can stream a little bit longer than you would record, I think, with some of these sort of things. Are you all turning off? No one indicates, do they? Like, I often get grief for uh, having accidents and stuff, but no one ever bloody indicates. Yeah, so you can, I tend to find you can go a little bit longer with the stream. Um, because people come in, come out, you've always got sort of a, a steady audience. Or it's nice to think you've always got a bit of a steady audience. Whereas, if you were to upload, say, a three-hour <laughs> video that you've recorded, um, you know, people aren't sticking around for three hours. You've got no one there at the end, really. Maybe one or two people who, you know, stick them on and just leave them running in the background. But then it's still a long time to just be sitting there and doing. The live interaction helps to sort of keep people. It's just difficult to grow. I think it's difficult to grow on screens um, on, on YouTube. I think it really is. You see, I see guys that I've, you know, met through Farm Sim who just do streaming and they just do streaming here on, on YouTube and like it took them a lot longer to, to grow their channels than someone that was maybe doing the videos. It's, it's tough because there's no real sort of push for, for streams here. Which is a shame. Hopefully Google and, and YouTube sort of get on it a bit and just add a little bit more to it. They're slowly adding little bits in. You know, the people that stream can get a few features by hitting the, the 500 subscriber mile mark and I think it's like 300 watch hours you can qualify for some stuff but it's not just about this it's, it's also having the other features that work with well, there's super chat and stuff like that but it doesn't work the same as say um, bits and all the interactive stuff that you have over on twitch channel points simple channel points you know we can do that from chatbots i've got a chatbot when i stream my chatbot sometimes doesn't turn up for two hours if not at all so I can't be relying on my chatbot running the entertainment. It needs to be integrated into YouTube. And whenever YouTube send out a um, creative survey, I always, always put these sort of things in it. Because they often ask, where, would you, where do you prefer to stream? Where do you stream those? And then why? And I always put down Twitch. And I always say for those reasons, it's just... Honestly, it's just more fun for the viewer, which in then turn becomes more fun for the streamer to have that extra interactivity. So if we're going to do a lot of streaming here, perhaps I'll have to see what I can get plug-in wise, what I can get to, to get things going in that sense. But also, also being how I am, <laughs> miserable. I don't like to have a lot of stuff sort of cluttering up the screen. Like for the last few 
weeks, I think. Um, I've, I've removed pretty much everything off my stream screen anyway. And it's, if my camera's working, it's just me. <laughs> me on my camera. And I do like to have that little, a little sub goal. Just so it's there to try and see if people want to, you know, help support, help us reach it. Got rid of all the other stuff. Nothing else. And I know if you watch a lot of, like, guides to stream, and especially to Twitch stream, it's all about getting the overlays and getting that flashy stuff on there. And, like, that's... If you're drawn in by pretty, pretty flashing lights and all the neon stuff on screen, then I'm probably not the content creator for you anyway, and you're not the audience I'm trying to get. Which, you know, this might sound arrogant or whatnot, but you know, I'm, I'm, the, the idea of me doing any of this starting three years ago was to try and just meet like-minded people. And if you're all about the hype, 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 then, um, yeah, you'll soon, le soon learn that that's, that's not what we do here. But good on you and enjoy it while you can. I think for I think people that do a lot of that, I mean it's just an assumption. An assumption. People people it's gotta be people that do that. I think those are the ones that eventually find doing it is a bit of a chore when it becomes like a job. Because not only oh, we've had an incident. Go straight. Not only you know, are you having to put the hours in and do all these other things? But you're having to play a persona every time you hit record or every time you hit stream. And that's got to be a bit, little bit laborious. And, you know, being something that you're necessarily not inside, you know you're doing that to get attention or to, you know, be liked. And ultimately, you're being liked and getting attention for not being yourself. Uh, that, uh, that's one of the reasons why I've never really enjoyed content like that because I don't, I don't need to see fake people on YouTube <laughs> over the top. If that's not what you're not like all all the time every day, then that's not you. I find that soul destroying. That's why when I do the farm sim stuff, I am terrible at attempts and roleplay. I've done it a couple of times, and like it's it's just. A constant, ooh, let's pretend. And I know we're playing games and we're having fun, but to, to keep that up, I just I just can't do that. I think it comes down to being a, to being a really, a really bad liar and performer. I just can't. Go straight. So we don't want this one. The next one. Go straight. Far out now. Coming into Norwich. Go straight. So, yeah, we're going. We've took what would be the sort of the northern distributor sort of, sort of way. This is going to take us out to like what would be what would be Racky. This is going to be a dirty old track down here. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Yeah, turn. Right. So we've picked this up and we're delivering it to for the same company so it's a you know, internal delivery we're not it's like taking this to be sold somewhere it's just from one site to the other for them oh slow down mate slow down slow down slow down that was a bit silly weren't it i knew that was going to happen we really just polished everything out last stream as well been a good trip good trip until then I thought I was on the road again didn't I we do handle differently off roads and I do quite like 
like that. You can, <laughs> if you've not got a trailer on, you can do a little bit of drifting sometimes. <laughs> Drift through here with me Volvo. Maybe I'll do that on the way on the way out. Off record. We might head into Norwich and uh, just pop back to garage, have a coffee, check in on everyone, check in on the fan. Forty is the limit. Can you imagine coming down here at forty? Plowed into the fence at like thirty. 28 probably. There we go. Well in lad. It was a nice easy park. And I'll be a happy man. An easy part for a happy fart. Where we go? Where are we? Where are we? It's a oh, I think it is. I think there's a drive-in. I think that's a drive-in. You little beauty. Although I normally get these wrong anyway, still. That should be us pretty good. Lovely job. Engine off. Disconnect. Delivered. Excellent. Apart from that little smack in the fence on the way in, I'll have to hop out and let the manager know we had an incident. Just an incident. That was 98 miles, a really short one. Uh, three hours. What was that payout? Five grand, wasn't it? So that's, that, that'll take us. That'll take us. And uh, oh, getting closer. Another little jobby like that. And we'll be at level 30 magic but that is it for another delivery and another episode just a quick one today just to to bide us through the weekend to make sure we're progressing uh hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there if you do wish to support the channel uh further we do have channel membership starting at 99 pence for a basic channel membership and you can you can do more if you wish i never really sort of promote or shout about it but it is there if you want to help us out and um yeah thank you all for your support and hopefully i'll see you again soon have a good one bye bye